Hi, my name is Nitsan Gadish. I work for Analog Devices MEMS division, and I'm here to show you how to get up and running with the ADXL345 development board. So I'm going to pretend that I just got my development board box in the mail. I'm very excited to start using it, and I'm going to show you how. So in my development board kit, I've got the development board, of course. I have a micro SD card with a USB card reader. And I have a programming cable that we won't use in this video, but that you'd use if you wanted to change the firmware on the development board. I also brought with me a pair of AAA batteries and my computer. To start using the board, I'm going to put the batteries in the socket in the back of the board. I'll take my SD card and push that into the slot until it snaps into position. And then I'll push the switch from the off position to the on position. Now my board is logging data and I can see that based on the green LED here. If the board was not logging data, the red LED would be on instead. You can see that the board is untethered. It's not linked at all to the computer so you can do anything you want with it regardless of where a computer is. When I'm done logging data, I flip the switch back to the off position, push the card back out of the micro SD slot. I take my uh, USB card reader and slide the card into the slot in it. Make sure the text and leads are facing up and insert into my USB slot. I can see the data on my computer if I navigate to where the file is, it'll be in an XL345 folder on the SD drive in a file called data and then some number dot text. And I can view that with a text editor and see all this raw data that's been logged. I can also use the Excel file with the macros that I've written. Click to enable macros when I open that and now this file asks me to type control shift x when I do that I'm prompted to browse to my file again on the disk in the XL345 folder the macros will plot my file for me and then ask me to save it now I have the acceleration data logged here with time on the x-axis in microseconds and in this other sheet in the same workbook Excel has imported the raw file. This file's already saved for me as was prompted by the macro and now I'm done so you're ready to log. Enjoy!